as creatives, all of us live in LA. We have all been on a journey. How have you navigated disappointment when it comes to this industry? Acceptance. Elaborate. <laughs> Just accepting. I feel like I'm, I'm in the middle of a, some disappointments right now. I feel them right here. Um, <laughs> you want to talk about it? No, I don't. I feel them. I, I don't. Feel right <laughs> no, I feel but like you want to talk about it. I feel it's it's interesting because I am going through a disappointment right now where I just knew in my you know in my car I was like oh this is it this is it and um, it ain't it clearly because here I am disappointed again but I will say I feel like I'm just really accepting that disappointments are just a part of life and they're especially a part of this specific journey that I've chose um, I feel like I look at myself and I'm like what's the difference between me and other people have been disappointed it's like oh it's a, a acceptance of this is what it is and I'm just gonna move past it and I can't give up and for me personally I'm starting to see like okay cool what can I learn here in this disappointment and even in this one that I'm in right now, there is something I was driving the other day and I was like, oh, that's what I could be doing different right now to accept it and move past it and not dwell on it and let it just fester. So for me, it's just been acceptance that this is a part of life. Um, and we know that we're, that we're disappointed. You know, people disappoint us. But for me, as a creative, I think I put in my mind like, oh, if I do the work, then this will be the outcome. And it just... It don't work like that, so, yeah. One of my dear friends, Hiyab, she said, the season may not be what you expected, but it's what you needed. And I think that is a nice general umbrella that I've had and a perspective that I've had for disappointment because it's not exactly what I expected, therefore I'm disappointed. But it might be what I needed. And yeah. the need is this growth, this learning opportunity, this person that I've met, or this moment of becoming somebody better or this like leveling up that had to come through that disappointment. And so I think, yeah, so if it might not be what you expect, but it is what you need. For me, even as a young child, I had this belief and I still have it to this day, that things happen as they should or like if it's for me, it's for me. So even though I might still feel some disappointment and again, like wanna ref will want to reflect on why, um, I do believe that if it's for me, it will be mine when it's time. So exactly that. Like I do think that regardless if we get what we thought we were gonna get or it turns out the way we think it's going to, there's purpose in it and it was necessary. Sometimes it's just necessary to get to the next thing or sometimes it's the lesson learned to prepare us for when that thing actually does come. But I fully am with you that I think it's necessary regardless of if it turns out the way that we think it was supposed to. I'm quoting Carrie Washington and she's quoting the Artist Way author. I forgot her name, Julie, Julia, something like that. But she was like, you can, you're, the bus is coming. You can pray to catch the bus, first step. Second step, you're going to run as fast as you can to get to that bus stop so that you can catch the bus. And I think that is like the idea of like, if it's for me, it's for me because I'm going to do all I can. I'm going to pray and I'm going to show up. I'm going to run as fast as I can. But if I miss the bus, then that bus was not for me. And if I do get the, to that bus, then good. I prayed and I did my work. So then therefore, you did. how does that tie into this disappointment? Well, if you miss the bus, sorry, but you did all you could do. It wasn't your bus. It was not your bus. The bus is coming back in 30 minutes. It's fine. Somebody had said to me at work, well, not just to me, but like said it in the room and I overheard it while I was typing. They said, your setbacks are not your limitations. And me and three other peers, coworkers were like, <gasps> like it just like, as you were saying, it's a word. It was a word for all of us because sometimes I feel that my disappointment is rooted in the limitations that I am receiving um, in a corporate environment. And then I have to like remind myself that like those are only setbacks within that confined space and that I need to like take myself, not just like, like just out of that space and put myself in my own personal realm and see like what setbacks am I putting for myself? And to piggyback off what Andrea had said, um, I think it's there was it was from a sermon. I don't know who it's from, so I'm sorry. If, I think it's Stephen Furtick, but it was opportunity meeting obedience, and I was like, whoa, 
whoa. <laughs> Joanne? Joanne, do you have something to say? Go, Joanne. It just, it just all ties into what I was saying is acceptance. It's like the disappointment I had. If I would have had this, I actually have had this same disappointment years ago. It was lodged in my heart. But this time when it came around, it's almost like it just pounced off. And it was, I, I'm seeing like, oh, this is almost like armor now, you know, like where my heart could have become callous, but it's almost become like steel to where the same disappointment came around, but this time it's not lingering, you know? It's like, yeah, it pounced off and yeah, there may be a little like, ouch, you know, that hurt, but I'm not walking around. One more time. Oh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little mosquito bite, but it's like, oh, but I've accepted it and I'm gonna go on about my day. Oh, 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 oh,